Hello to my online biology learners. I wanted to give you a little introduction video to remind you and tell you about the options for assignment two. Now, if you look on the sideboard, uh, side toolbar, there is a tab here for assignment two. And I've set up assignment two so that there is some options. Let me see if I can access it. There we go. So in assignment two, you can choose own, choose to do only one, but there's two options for you to choose up. You're, you're doing the same topic, but you're doing it in two different formats. So the assignment is on how one's lifestyle contributes to the health of one's body. You, we want to build on the knowledge of the skeletal system, the nervous system, or the cardiovascular system by looking at how your lifestyle will affect our health. There are two choices of assignments. Just choose one, just do one. If you like writing, working by yourself and just getting her done, there's a formal paper. If you want to spread it out, discuss and reflect in an informal way, there is the discussion. And you need to make your mind up by November 30th because either you've done the first uh, post or... Um, or you haven't and if you haven't done the first post then I assume you're doing the paper let's look at them both because they both have different deadlines and different expectations even though they're similar just different so if you wish to look at the formal paper the formal paper is due on Tuesday December the 8th which is the second last day of school it's also worth 10 percent now the um, it's a paper, so I want you to discuss how everyone's everyday lifestyle, including your workplace, can contribute to harmful conditions which relate to your skeletal system, which is your bones and your muscles and your joint, and show you bones, bones and joint, your nervous system, brain, spinal cord, uh, nerves, whatever, or your cardiovascular system, so that's your heart, your vessels, such as that. Now, there are different points that I want you to cover. The first one is you must have an introduction and a conclusion, and it must be very specific. So although this is a formal paper, it's a tight, get to the point kind of paper. So you do an introduction, and then you conclude at the end, and your introduction is basically tell me what your conditions are, tell me how it affects the body. Then you will talk about all three systems and they could be different lifestyle things that affect your, your systems differently. So you get two marks for each of those. And I want you to discuss for me the importance of the system and the structure in your body and then look at how one harmful condition within that structure can affect one lifestyle. So the example could be bones. And then your bones could be something like um, tripping hazards. Can you tell my dad just fell and broke a hip? Um, tripping hazards. So if you have a tripping hazard, it can affect your bones. So that's something about work. Then you can talk about brain system. It can be a different lifestyle thing. It doesn't have to be the same. If you have a condition that hits more than one system, great. Now, I want you to do things in title. So you have title, introduction, talk about it. Skeletal system, talk about it. Nervous system, talk about it. Cardiovascular system, talk about it. So again, this has to have nice flow. Um, you need to reference it. And I expect at least, what do I have? Um, three references, I think. And the references must be cited internally for in-text citation, and you must have a reference list at the bottom. You also need to do it in proper APA format. So I'm looking for a reference list, title page, running headers. If you need any help with this, refer to your stuff in your communication course, or the nurse, sorry, the, the librarians have great, um, great help there and there's also a writing center in the library that can help so do not save this to last minute because uh it's obvious when you give me crap put some thought into it it's overall 10 percent of your final mark okay also i want it um double spaced large margins do it in a word processing um document and then submit it following 
Uh, to submit this, you just click on this title up here uh, and submit up here. If you want to see the rubric, here is the rubric of what I am marking, okay, and how many marks it's with. Good. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is due on the 8th. I cannot, you can hand it in early, uh, I can't take any late because the marks have to be in. Um, everything for this course needs to be done by the 9th and then the marks have to be in, I don't know when the marks have to be in, sometime after that, but um, all course material must be done by the 9th, so that gives me one day. I probably won't get it marked in one day, but um, everything needs to be handed in with that time. So. Do not procrastinate this one. You need to have your research. You need to have your formatting. That is the formal paper. Then same topic, different, um, different formatting. So in this one, we are talking about a discussion group. So first off, we'll talk about what it is, but to post, to submit your posts, go over here in groups, then just you know, right here, group two discussion. When you start a new one, discussion board, when you start a new submission, you um, create a thread. So you open it, hope you click on here to open it, and then you create a thread. Then that's first part. Second part, you reply to two, so then you would just reply to the thread. And then the third one, you go back to your own thread and you comment on that and summarize it. Okay, so that one actually has for different posts spread out. Let me show you more about what that means. So if we go back to here. Now, in the discussion, you're discussing similar thing, just done differently. Um, that's how you discuss. So you are gonna discuss how one's lifestyle will affect the workplace of either the skeletal system, the nervous system, or the cardiovascular system. And you initially only start with one post that is on one system. Then you comment on two different systems and then you reply to your original post. Note your first date, November the 30th. Then the second one is December 6th and the last one has to be done by December the 9th. Again, you can do things early and uh, get on them. Some people have already posted already, which is great to see. So part one. Um, and then the APA formatting is, has the mark there again, 10%, same way as the other, the rubric is posted somewhere. There is a rubric. Oh, it's, it's, it's posted in the discussion board. Okay. So your initial point, you are going to use a post of three to four paragraphs. You must have in, te te in text citations and two good references. Double space for eating, e reading ease if it can. I found that some people, when they're submitting it, the formatting changes, but whatever. I understand that that's it. But make sure your font's at least 10 or 12, so that way it's easier for other people to read. So it's easiest if you start processing it in a word processor. Again, if you don't have Office 365, you can get it from the library and free. You like free. Then um, double space, the instructions are here. Use at least two strong references in your first post. Now a strong reference means ideally something scientific. Some of you, um, Wikipedia is a good reference to get ideas to get you started, but it's not a strong reference. So use the material in Wikipedia to go and find, uh, find where that reference and go to those original references. Okay, personal reflections here are encouraged. This one's informal, so you can use the I think, I feel, your own experience, and then make sure you hit it to back it up with a strong reference. And full marks rewarded for integrated discussion with relative supporting references. So don't just cite something and then, like, don't just copy and paste a lot of references, basically what I'm saying. Discuss why integrate. Okay, and then one mark for APA formatting. You have to have in site, in text citations and a reference list. You don't need to worry about pages, uh, title pages or running heads. Okay, good. Again, see the librarian staff or the writing center if you have discussions. That is the first part <coughs> due November the 30th. 
Then part two, you will reply to other people's topics in your post group. Ideally, one of the posts have to be on a system that's not your own or the system you chose. And it must be a different topic than you chose. So yes, this could be tricky, but there's 20 of you in groups. And even if only half of you do the paper, that's still 10 people to post on. So it may take a bit, but um, go for it. Now your posts need to add information. You need to find a new reference and support or disagree with the original post. Strong answers will include discussion related to the original post and a reference to add to the complexity of the original post, two to four paragraphs with the reference at the end. So you need to research it, you need to add in order to get your full two marks. Two marks for each post times two posts is four. Then at the end, you need to reflect on what you've learned from your original, re re your original research and what your classmates have added and then reflect on the end and hopefully someone has um, added to your string or your thread and if not um, well hopefully they have now I'm expecting more research and more reflection and I'll be marking it with uh, a little harder grid than I did last time but uh, that was the first time this is the second time hopefully that has uh, given you the details the topic, well, all, everyone's doing the same topic, which is about how lifestyle affects skeletal system, nervous system, and cardiovascular system. And again, I want it at the level of this course. Um, so you, you should be beginner biologist now and beginner anatomy and physiology. Good. Hopefully that helps. Make sure you hit your deadlines because I know you got a lot going on this term, but deadlines are important. Um, especially for marking. I'll try to keep up with the marking um, and be ahead, but uh, there's a lot of you. Anyway, I'm doing my best. Take care. 